Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 1.10, Write Numerical Expressions. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to write numerical expressions. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Today's lesson has a vocabulary word. Our vocabulary word is numerical expression. A numerical expression is a mathematical phrase or a number sentence that combines numbers, operations, signs, and or variables, but does not contain an equal sign. That would look something like five times two plus seven. That is an example of a numerical sentence. It has numbers, it has operation signs, but it doesn't have an equal sign. Please pause to write the lesson vocabulary and definition in your notebook. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's continue by reading our Unlock the Problem. It says, a numerical expression is a mathematical phrase that has numbers and operation sign, but does not have an equal sign. Tyler caught 15 small bass, and his dad caught 12 small bass at the Memorial Bass Tourne Tourney in Tittadu, Pennsylvania. Write a numerical expression to represent how many fish they caught in all. So our question here actually says, write a numerical expression. It doesn't say solve. But we do know that we need to say how many fish they caught in all. And I see the number that Tyler caught 15 and dad caught 12. And the words in all tell me that I should add. So let's look at the bottom. It says you need to join different groups. So we're going to add, right? That was what we just said. So we have 15 plus 12. 15 plus 12 is how many fish they caught. We've now written in a numerical expression. Let's continue with example one. We're going to read the words and then write a numerical expression that the words are telling us. It says, Emma has 11 fish in her aquarium. She buys four more. So we start with 11 and more means we're getting bigger. So we add four, 11 plus four. B. Lucy has 128 stamps. She uses 38 stamps on party invitations. Uses is usually a key word that we're getting rid of. So we're going to subtract. 28 minus 38 is how many she used. C, multiplication. Carla buys five books. Each book costs $3. We've talked about that word each before. Each tells me to multiply. We have five books times each one is three dollars. Five times three. And division. Four players share 52 cards. Each, they share it. Share is an important word and equally is an important word. They have 52 cards divided by four players. These may seem simple, but it's important to know which numbers come first in a numerical question or come second, because when we get to order of operations, if our numbers are in the wrong order, we're going to get to a wrong answer. Let's practice again on example two. Doug went fishing for three days. Each day he put $15 in his pocket. At the end of each day, he had $5 left. How much money did Doug spend by the end of his trip? Before we start working this problem out, let's read what's in our blue box. It says underline the events for each day. Okay, he went fishing for three days and each day he put $15 in his pocket. So every day, day one, $15 in his pocket. Day two, $15 in his pocket. Day three, $15 in his pocket. Okay. The next one says, circle the number of days these events happened. 
I underlined it before, but it says Doug went fishing for three days. Okay, now it says think. He took $15 and he had five left. So that means that he had 15 and when he got to the end of the day, he only had five. So we could figure out what that is by doing 15 minus five. And we know what the answer is. We know it's 10, but we don't wanna solve it yet. We wanna leave it as 15 minus five. And before we're done and before we solve, we're gonna multiply it by three because he did that for three days in a row. So that expression would be three days of 15 minus five. Example three, which problem matches the expression 20 minus 12 plus three? So keep in mind the parentheses tell us what to do first. So 12 plus three has to happen first and then we're gonna subtract it from 20. Let's read and see which one makes sense. Kim has $20 for her fishing trip. She spends $12 on a fishing pole. Then she finds $3. How much money does she have now? Okay, in order to figure out what happened, let's list the invent in order. First, Kim has $20. Then she spends, reading from the question, she spends $12. Well, spend sounds like a subtract. Then she finds $3. Finds $3, and that's an add. And if we look back to our expression, we're gonna subtract the 12, but we're gonna add the three. So do these words match the expression? No. Let's look at the next one and see if they do. Kim has $20 to spend on her fishing trip. She spends $12 on a fishing pole and $3 on bait. How much money does she have now? Let's begin the same way as we did the other one, by listing the events in order. First, Kim has $20. Next, she spends $12, right, up in our story. She also spends $3, spends $3. So we could say that we could add the 12 and the three because both of those are being spent and then subtract once from the 20. So do these words max the expression? Yes. Great job so far, fifth graders. Today's lesson activity is a little bit fun. You're going to write the words to a math problem that match the expression six times 12 minus four. So think about what we just did. We have to do 12 minus four first and then multiply it by six. I'll give you an example. I have $12 every day and every day I spend $4. I do this every day for six days. Now use my example and write your own in your math notebook. Great job, fifth graders. See you at the teacher table.